Hey guys, it's Crypto Marie. She does it all. A little bit of everything. I am going to give you a summary on the situation on the job market. We put it on Friday. I almost forgot about it. But you know what? It's never too late. It's good to know what's going on. And I'm going to read a few paragraphs to give you some information you might be needed. Okay. Transmission materials and this new release is uh, embargoed until 8 a.m. Hold on one second, guys. Is this the right information? Okay. Total non-farm payroll employment is increased by 223,000 in December. And the unemployment rate edged down to 3.5%. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reported today notable job gain occurred in leisure and hospitality healthcare, construction and social assistance this news release presents statistics from two months survey the household survey measures labor force status including unemployment by demographics characteristics the establishment survey measure non-form employment hours and earning by industry for more information about the concepts and the uh, statistical methodology used in this two surveys see the technical note uh, revision of seasonal adjusted household survey uh, seasonal adjusted household survey data have been revised using update seasonal adjustment factors a procedures done at the end of each calendar year seasonal adjust estimates back to january 2018 were subject to revision the unemployment rates for january 2022 through november 2022 as originally published in a revised appear and stable at the end of this news release along with additional information about the revision the unemployment weight edged down to 3.5 percent in december and has remained in a narrow range of 3.5 percent to 3.7 percent since march the number of unemployment person edged down to 5.7 million in december uh, among the major worker groups the unemployment rate for whites fell to 3.0 percent in december the jobless rate for adult men 3.1 percent adult women 3.2 percent teenagers 10.4 percent blacks 5.7 percent unemployment weight <clears throat> asian 2.4 percent and hispanic 4.1 percent showed little or no change over the month and the number of long-term unemployment those jobless for 27 weeks or more declined by 146,000 to 1.1 million in december this measure is down from 2.0 million from 2.0 million a year earlier the long-term unemployment accounted for 18.5 percent of all unemployment persons and uh, the unemployment population rate increased by 0.2 percent point over the month to 60.1 percent the labor force participating rate was little change at 62.3 percent both measures have shown little net change since early 2022 these measures are each 1.0 percent below the values in february 2020 prior to the coronavirus covid 19 pandemic the number of persons employed part-time for economic reason at 3.9 million changed little in december these individuals who would have preferred full-time employment were working part-time because their hours had been reduced for or they were unable to find full-time jobs right and the number of person not in the labor force who currently want a job fell by 352,000 for two 352,000 to 5.2 million in December and 
is little different from the February 2020 2020 level of 5.1 million work during the four weeks preceding the survey or were unavailable to take a job uh, let's see among those not in the labor force who wanted a job the number of person marginal at, attached to the labor force declined by 231,000 to 1.3 million in December. These individuals wanted and were available for work and had looked for a uh, and had looked for a job sometime in the prior 12 months, but had not looked for work in the four weeks preceding the survey. The number of discouraged workers is subset of the marginal attached who believe that no jobs were available for them for them number 410 410,000 in December essentially unchanged from the previous month establishment survey data total non-farm payroll employment increased by 223,000 in December notably Notable job gains occur in leisure and hospitality, healthcare, construction, and social assistance. Payroll employment rose by 4.5 million in 2022, an average monthly gain of 375,000, less than the increase of 6.7 million in 2021, an average monthly gain of 562,000. Uh, in December, employment and leisure and uh, hospitality rose by 67,000. Employment continued to trend up and food service and drinking places tw plus 26,000. Uh, amusement, gambling and recreation jobs per month and 2022 substantially less than the average gain of 1996 uh, of, forgive me, uh, less than the average gain of 196,000 jobs per month in 2021 and primate in the industry remains below its pre-pandemic February 2020 level by 932,000 or 5.5%. I don't think I should keep on going guys. I should close it down here. We just want to report that 223,000 jobs was created. It was more than expected. But one thing I have heard for the recession to go down less people have to be working which to me it doesn't make any sense i thought it would help out to have people working but the inflation caused by too many people working so whatever they choose to do it's on them it's on their hand we can't be living off uh, welfare we can't be living off um handouts we need to work keep our job and uh, may God bless you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Crypto Marie, she does it all. A little bit of everything. It's never too late to bring the right information. All right? Bye. Subscribe.